Hey guys, Will and Basil here with Grayson Hobby. Today we're gonna go over the Q90 Flying Frog. We're gonna dissect it. We're gonna dissect it. We're gonna cut it open, show you guys what's inside it, a little breakdown of it. We're gonna show um, its guts. Yep, show its guts. We're also gonna show um, how to set it up with the Fly Sky radio, the Eosheen radio. How to bind it. How to bind it. Go in there, because that one's a little more uh, different than some of the other ones that got auto bind on it. And if you saw our last video on the frog, the, wind, the weather was terrible. The weather was absolute crap and, and you made me fly it. Today, today, today it's really nice out. Perfect, so we're going to get some real good footage outside and with zero, almost zero wind. Uh, take it apart and give it to Will and see what he can do with it. Alright, let's go. Oh shoot. Dude, I'm like in the worst spot. Oh my god! Froggy dead! Dissect! <laughs> Landed, I started seeing lines in the video, which is a dead giveaway that your battery's about to die on this one because it's a two cell brushed. Um, as soon as you start seeing really heavy lines, bring it down because you're going to lose video in about 30 seconds or less. Um, the quad itself with the tri-blade props even, which is normally good for indoor setups, butter smooth out here, flies extremely well. Um, again, these are slightly modded pids. But the quad flies great. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a brush quad. Other than it doesn't have as much vertical performance, the actual flight characteristics, it's so smooth. It doesn't handle anything like other ones I've flown before. It's an excellent flying quad. They did a really good job with the way this thing flies. I think this is probably the best, the most stable quad. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, I see think the most power, more the power you need it. Well, the Vantic was the same way. It's yeah. got a little more weight to it, and I think that little bit of extra weight just makes it fly that much better on these micros. Um, what you lose in vertical power, raw power, it makes up for in stability. Yeah. It definitely, um, I mean, I'm really happy with the way this thing flies. In order to buy in the Q90 Fly Sky Edition, um, Q90 you, Frog. Q90 Frog. In order to do that, you have to have a radio that's capable of AFHDS, not ADHFH, whatever, 2A, which is telemetry based. Um, so you have to have this one right there. It, this style right here would work great. You which, can't use the strategy radio? evolution stuff like that because right. they don't have that. So, give me an example of what product comes with that radio. The Wizard, Eosheen Wizards, uh, all pretty much any of the Falcon, the uh, Racer, gotcha. all that. They're gonna come. Most of those are gonna come with the Eosheen version, which, which is, is locked. You'll know that you don't have. You can't get into the menu. Um, so we're gonna show you how to one unlock it, which is in a previous video, and two how to get this bound with the Fly Sky Edition radios. All right. Okay. So what do you need? Well, all you need is the quad, a USB cable, a computer, and the radio. What computer, so, what, what software? This is clean flight. The factory software is clean flight. All right. So first things first, um, I'm gonna pull the body off so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, you do not need to remove the body to bind it. It's just a matter of timing to get it going. For demos only? This yeah. Is so you can see the light clear with yeah, the camera. This is the receiver on the fly sky. Okay. Um, so basically, I don't even have the battery connected, guys. We're not using the battery at all. USB cable provide the power. The oh. Battery to the quad, you don't have plugged in, right? Correct. All right, but you do have batteries there. Battery in the transmitter, okay. yes. Yeah, be, be very specific. You're killing me, Smalls. Shut up! You're killing me, Smalls. All right. In order to use the Eosheen i6 radios that come with the, the racers and the Falcons and all that, um, one, you gotta make sure all your switches are up and your throttle's down. You push the two buttons together right here, the two trim tabs, push them inwards, then turn on the radio. Once you're in there, you can push and hold OK, then you get into system. Now we have to select a model. Your, your default one is probably going to be whatever your first quad was that you came with the radio. So we're going to go to model two, which is a blank model. Um, if you don't know for sure or not, just make sure you reset the model and make sure this is not the one that you need. God, please so, make sure it's not the model Yeah, you need. don't reset the one if that you already have. Just make a new model. Now we need to go RX setup, and this is AFHDS 2A. That's turned on by default. We have to turn that off, guys. Uh, so turn okay. that off there. That's the secret sauce right And then there. just hit OK. Now we're gonna hit cancel, get out of everything. And you'll notice a lot of the stuff's missing on the screen now. Okay, now this is where it kinda gets tricky. I'm gonna plug the USB cord into the quad itself. And then I'm gonna have the USB cord for the for the computer here. So 
get it ready, pretty much ready to plug in here. So this is a time sensitive thing, yeah. right? Very time You'll see, sensitive. You'll right, see, let me see. show you this real quick. So when you first plug this in, you see how it's flashing? You got three or four seconds before it turns off. So once it's off, then what happens? During that time when it's flashing is when you need to bind it. If you wait too long, it won't actually link. So it might take you three or four tries to get this, but okay. once you get it, you got it. So. And this is why I do it with the computer. You can actually get this to bind without ever using the computer, just get a power source. All right. But the computer will confirm it. So let's put it here so we can get everything on camera here. All right, All right so, so we got the radio. We're gonna turn the radio back off. So everything's off. Radio, step one, radio off. So first thing we're gonna do with this connected to the quad, again, no battery power, just USB. We're gonna plug this in and within three or four seconds, we need to go over here and then push and hold the bind button and turn on the radio. Okay. Again, make sure all the sticks are down so it can bind. Sticks down, switches up. Um, all right, so here okay. we go. So I'm gonna plug in, push the button, hold down, turn on. You'll see it kind of goes solid. So it's a really slow flash. Now, once that's done, unplug the power, turn off the radio, turn the radio back on, plug the power back in. Now we do have a flash, fast flash there and a solid light. So now that it's a solid light means we're linked. Let's go into clean flight here. I'm gonna connect it. And then I'm gonna to go to the receiver tab. Now that I'm in the receiver tab, I can see everything moving. If you do not see the sticks moving in the same way as that, then you're not bound. If you're if you're if those are not moving and you're moving the sticks and nothing's happening, you're that right, means you bound. didn't bound, you mm -hmm. need to do it again. Right. Now, once we got that set here, we need to go into the sub menu and we need to center these trims out. Right now, we actually, this is, the quad's gonna think we're going left and backwards. So, all right, let's start with the roll. Roll is gonna be So we're gonna go into the menu. All right, I call it arrow. Oh, this is also the e-ching, so we gotta do this again. Turn it off, turn it oh, on, okay. hold the tabs. Go to setup. We're gonna go to sub trim. Channel one is roll. So we're gonna just go either up or down. You'll see the number. See, it's at 1500 now. Mm -hmm. So move it around. So we're at 1500. Let's get that crazy glare. Hit okay. All right. We're gonna go to the next one. The second one's pitch, which is channel two. I'm gonna turn that up. So you're just doing sub trim on the radio right there? Yes. Okay. Channel three is throttle, which we shouldn't need to adjust that one. Channel four. Looks like it needs one or two. Let's go back on channel two. There we go. So got 1500 and if it jitters back and forth a little bit, that's okay. You can try to get it closer, but you just don't want it going too far off. All right, so we got 1500 there. The next thing I need to check is my endpoints. If I move both sticks to the corner, see we got nothing under a thousand. Go to the top right corner, nothing's over 2000. So we're okay there, it's ready to go. If you wanna fine tweak your endpoints to get it to 1000, 2000 on the dot, by all means, but you don't have to. How, would you, how do you save? All right, so once we save, so we got everything here, we got our 1500s. Mm -hmm. Push and hold the cancel button until it goes to the menu. If you just tap it, it'll mm -hmm. delete the settings and it resets. So you have to hold cancel. So now that we got that set, I'm gonna check my endpoints. They're all within 1000 and 2000, we're good. So within, so as long as they're right around 2000? Yeah, the closer they are, the more resolution you get. So go, ba go back up to full. Uh, we got zero. That's 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 no throttles. That's all the bottom corners. That's so, all the top. All right, we're off by ten. Let's get it higher. Okay. How do you do it? So we're gonna go to endpoints. Oh, uh, about that. Now, first channel's roll. We need to turn it up or down to get it to where we want it. So you're just basically taking the. You have to hold the stick and move it one way or the other. Hold on. Do it. Do it. Do one. So okay. Channel two. So you're gonna push the stick up. Yeah, push the stick up and you'll see the arrow will follow which direction yeah. it's in. Uh -huh. So if you just push it up, you don't have to hold it, but it's easier to do because you yeah. can see on the screen. So push and hold. And then you're going to push the And you don't want it to go end point above. Up. Right, so you're just going to have to play with the radio and just get it to be 2000. Or as close as you can without going over. Right. Like it does right there. 1000 to 2000. Yes, it actually does explain this, but nobody reads that. So. But yeah, I didn't. All right, so Is, if it says important, so you got your corners. I'm you not got reading corners. it. So we got all our endpoints set, everything there. The only other thing to do is, according to the manual, is if you're going to run the default modes, you're going to set channel five to switch C, channel six to switch B, and that's right there in the manual, guys. That will give you an arm disarm, and I believe 
uh, angle and acro modes options, or you can f further fine tune it, add air modes, stuff like that, if you want from there. But that's a clean um, fight. That's more clean fights. You got to set that up also in the modes. Yeah. But that'll get you going. That gets you bound. Everything good to go. It's very easy to bind. The only tricky part is making sure you do it before the flashing stops. With the body on, hard to see. With the body off, easy to see, but you don't need to take the body off to bind it. Just literally do it within three or four seconds and you'll be fine. All right, well, what we got? All right, so you saw how to bind it. Um, you saw the flying, the crashing, everything. This is the part I did promise. We are gonna dissect the frog Woo! and get you guys Dissecting a, a, frog. a look inside the Q90. All right, so first things first, you gotta take the four screws off. They're, Wait, where are they? They're gonna be in the bottom, in the corners. So you're gonna have to take those out. Wait, then you gotta pop. Where are they? They're gonna be in the corners. They're not in here right now, I took them out. Oh, duh. <laughs> Um, the body will be t uh, little tabs to hold it in. Just take a little flathead, pop it off. So you got the body off here. Now you can't just pull it off because there is a cable there. So we're going to just move this to the side. Get very careful your wire. What cable is it? That is the video transmitter. All right. So I'm just going to let that roll to the side. So your video transmitter, 200 milliwatt video transmitter is right here. The channel changing button is right there. That's how you can change channels. You'll see the LEDs for the different channels will light up when the power is on it. Okay, hold on. The receiver is right here. This happens to be the fly sky, depending on which version is what you get. Um, Would that bind with my Spectrum? No. <laughs> I get that question way too much, guys. Then also you can remember that it came with extra wires. These extra wires serve a purpose. Um, in case you got an ARF version or something like that, or if you didn't get a receiver, or if you want to change receivers, say you start off with fly sky and you want to move to Tyrannus or something like that with one of the like the uh, XM micro receivers or something like that if you go to Tyrannus. Oh, cool. This comes with a PPM harness or an S-Bus harness, depending on how you wire it up. You said PP. This is why my job is It's hard. one of those days. It's this guy. One of those days. So the harness right there, you plug in, and you can change different receivers, wired up, direct solder, or you can reuse the harness it comes with. Other wiring harness it comes with is also a UART port. So you got a UART port right here. A what? And UART, it's a serial port. What is that so do? if you look at the chart here, S-Bus receiver, so if you want to run an S-Bus receiver, you can also plug it in to right here in the back left corner. What's that thing right there? That is a buzzer port. Where is that going to be? It's going to be right here. VTX. So you got your VTX here, and let's power it up just to show you guys. So you got your VTX here, the channel changing, push the buttons to change the channel. Change the band, push and hold. The red indicates the band, the blue indicates the channel. Kind of more of a universal board, which has got nice because it's not locked into a specific format like Tyrannus, Spectrum, or FlySky. So it's changeable. It is changeable. So say you get it and you end up changing radios down the road, you're not stuck with a board that you can't use anymore. You can actually change the this receiver so out. if you go buy one of those radios right there, or even buy one of those radios right there. Or one of those up there. Or one of those up there. It'll work. Well, it won't work. You have to change it out. Yeah, you'll have to change the receiver, but it has the ability to right. run different ones. Cool. Only thing, guys, I wish it had it. There's no connector for a Spectrum satellite, but if you wired it up, if you look very closely, those three tabs would be the ones for a Spectrum satellite receiver if you're going to run a directly to a receiver. Unfortunately, they did not come installed on these, and I don't think they ever will. Um, for some reason, Spectrum's not very well supported in the multi-rotor community. Yeah. community. Uh, especially micro. And that gets you going, and that's a little look inside the frog. All right, I see. We definitely have the different top on. So how did you change that top? Because you in order beginning... to change the top, the only two things you got to do is there's two screws right here. You unscrew the screws, take the antenna, pull the antenna through. The whole VTX has to come out, and then you put it into the new. Box. So nothing's glued or, or nothing's taped. glued. It's just two screws. Okay. And then where's the antenna go? It looks the like the antenna runs through the back. Okay, that looks easy enough. All right, put that together and let's go fly outside without the wind. Mm. Nice and quiet. I honestly think if I open Hey, you know last time you said something? Go get your keys. There you go, that should work. 
for the record, whose car is this? This is my car. I'm going to see right. what happens. All right. All right, here he goes. Oh, oh, that was weird. Made it. Make it out of the way. Whoa. Holy moly, I moved my... I, I, I don't know if I saw that. You come right at me, man. I need to move back. That was... Shoot. Oh, shoot. Dude, I'm like in the worst spot. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put the camera on a tripod, man. I'm about to take my head taken off. Um, I mean, it's a two-cell brush, so it's got more power in that respect. Yeah. Um, it's smoother, though. Out of the box, QX90C blows it away, but with a little bit of pit tuning, guys, if you know how to do any pit tuning and all that, um, it's definitely the way to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you soon on the next video in a week make, or so. Make sure you comment below about how we did, what do you, you want to see in the next video, and give us a thumbs up and click that little bell thing right there. I think the next there. video, Basil should fly. All right. It's